Tico Cheese! Hey, hey, folks, welcome back to Tico Cheese Outdoors. That's right, right there. There's the pool again. How you doing, Jen? All right, basically, what we're doing today, we have a lot of footage from the Montauk trip. I want to put a couple more fish on film. And they're not big fish. These are smaller fish, but they're fish that we ate, all right? There's also a breakdown in the whole uh, After the Catch episode that will be coming up in a couple of minutes. Uh, I suggest you take your kids and hide them in their rooms when you see that footage. It's a little out of control, but it's all real life stuff here. That's what we do on Kiko Cheese Outdoors, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first fish. And it's not a big fish, but it's a cool fish. But I want you to take, pay perfect attention to the rod tip on this thing, all right? Let's look at that one more time. Look at the rod tip. See that? That's the first tug. I react like a ninja if you see that head move right down to the rod tip. Second pull, I say a little bit. Probably two people that walk this earth right now can set the hook like that. And one right now is captaining the Lori C. What? on Smith Channel, alright? Captain Gary. How you doing? LoriC.com. Fish with him, alright? Lori C. Fishing. Blackfish coming up. This guy's the man. Clueless. Me personally, I'm booked for blackfish. So <gasps> Shag it easy, alright? Oh, no. Who loves you? Kiko Cheese does, alright? This is getting We're going inside here, alright? Alright, so this fish is fighting here. All the boys clearing up the rods. That's what we do because we're in a position in the in a in a place right where you can catch these 50 pounders. They're not uncommon. Up. They're not common. Is that a valid statement? They're doable. Uh oh, he's right. backpedaling. Not uncommon. Is that the proper word? Is there a guy from Montauk saying they're not uncommon? You want crack? What? Crystal meth? What? What are you talking about? It's not that they're not uncommon. They're out there, right? We catch 43s. My boy's like 49 out there. So 50s right there. 50 is one more chocodile, all right? And that bass, and you get a 50 pounder. All right, so stay tuned. Check it out. Check it out. All right, folks, check out Michael. He's my deck boss. He makes sure all the deck is clear and no rods are in the way. We get hung up on any uh, obstructions there, right? I mean, there's a good chance that this tri bass is over the five pound mark, all right? So you really gotta ease that baby in. <laughs> I'd like to take this time to thank the Academy. Gosh, you're obnoxious. All right, folks, here's Michael down on the fish. All right, mediocre fish, but what happens, we have some serious audio issues here, just like I just started right there. We had some serious audio issues. So what I did is I nixed the audio on the video because it was wind was blowing, it sounded horrific. So what I did, and I have a photographic memory, and it's also photogenic too. If you have, anybody got a camera? Never mind. Uh, oh boy, he's gonna make this I whole thing up. Almost verbatim, recall the dialogue that took place during that catch. So I'm gonna narrate this and to the best of my abilities. All right, so shake it easy. Here's Michael on a eh, fish. All right, shake it easy. Hey, Kiko, cheese, something's pulling on this line. I'm not sure what it is. I think I see. I think I see a submarine. I think I see a submarine. 
A submarine? You, a submarine. What have you been sniffing the gulp? Here it is. Good it is right there. It's a submarine. I think I got the submarine on. I'm so nervous. This is sick. This is kooky wooky pooky. Relax, this is Tico Cheese talking here. Stay focused. So you strike bass. I'm mediocre when I'm best. But it's really pulling hard. I don't know what to do. I just want to stick my hands in the air. I told you not to be stupid, you moron. Will you stop stealing Howard Stern's lines? This hurts so much, I don't think I can reel anymore. I'm just gonna pull on the rod. I see a fishy wishy pishy in there. I wanna catch him, I wanna eat him in smoky pokey wookie dookie dookie dookie. Relax, I'll hit with the gap one shot like I always do. Hey, Daisy. Fish on board. Hey, in all fairness, Michael never said anything like that. You'll do anything for ratings, won't you? Okay, hang loose. And this is what happens when I drink way too much bourbon at night. Oh. Ah! Mayday, mayday, mayday. Hi, folks. Hide your kids, hide your wife. There's a psycho out in Montauk, all right? This is a little episode of After the Catch with Kid Cochise Outdoors. Yeah, I stole it from the Discovery Channel. Get over it. I'll go through the old footage and I had to put this up there. So, if you got kids there, get rid of them. <gasps> Don't get rid of them. Throw them in their room for a couple of seconds. There's a lot of bleeping and a lot of uh, shenanigans going on in this next couple of minutes, all right? It's true after the, after the catch stuff. I just wanted to qualify what, what we're talking about here. If you recall back in the other Montauk Monster videos, that blue boat that follows our apprentices, you know, we take them out, show them where to drift, do all the stuff, rig them up. Just so happens this year, one day, they got a limb before we did. What? Yeah, a limb before Kid Coach East did. Don't like that. But it happens. All right? We're normal. I mean, the last time I didn't get a limit. 1936. No. 42. No. 67. Yes. 1967. That's when my last limb was. I was three years old. I was in Stellwagen Bank, and I just... Missed the oh flip. my goodness, you lied to your audience. All right, so this is what happens. They take off on us, they limit out, and they take off on us and leave us back out in the rips. So we have a little chat back at the uh, Ponderosa, if you will, all right? Shake it easy. For those of you who fish out in Montauk, you're going to know exactly where we are. Shake it easy. Check it out. Hold your ears, too. Oh, Michael, yeah. Dennis is like this. He is there, such, no, is there such a thing as yeah. whisper text? You communicate. Gonna say but no, when we no, came in... Before we go... I wasn't I sure if they were still I, fishing I or they went... Right on the because he wasn't answering the radio. I mean, I went yeah. to Lucky and say what you did just radio. because uh, to see if they were there. Oh, you, 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 you had the same issue. I wouldn't have a cause is vouching. He tried to call the incentive, it was radio silent. He tried. Yeah, and cause, but they said, Oh, when you guys come and take the war signal channel. We go to war we, we told you everything yeah. you were supposed and to do. And, and, and we did it. I'm totally disrespectful. No, 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 no. no. Oh my God. We my said brother before, so we're, we're like, listen, we're like, <laughs> before we were, we're going to leave, we're like, how are they doing over at War 6? So like, we're like, let's get them. Incentive, incentive, incentive. Can you please come in? This is giddy oh. <laughs> so, like, so we're driving in. We're like, oh, these. Instead of, instead of, instead of, this is Giddy Up. Can you please come in? Giddy Up, Mike. Did you say please? No. I, I did. You said please. You know no way you say please. I will. Like, oh, my God. Oh my you God. said I please. Got, did you say <laughs> please? Did you say please? Did you say please? Did you say please? And I said, <laughs> and I said, you did say not please. say you please. Said, you did not say please. You can't handle the truth. Yeah. You can honestly. John, did you say please? I'm like, wouldn't know why they're not responding because she said. Did you guys limit? I'm like, oh my god, oh, you oh, Alright, <laughs> 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 that's completely out of control and I apologize for that footage. But I just thought it'd be funny out there. That's real life after the catch stuff right there. All right, now let's just uh, segue out with Michael right now. He's going to catch a couple of fish. Not big fish, but these are fish that we take home and we eat, all right? Here's a couple of quick... I'll put... You know what I'll do? I'll put, put some nice funky music beat, all right? I don't. All right, yet another fish on. Michael's been battling. Battling this fish Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep cool cheese out, dog. Nice, Mike. Nice and easy, kid. The incentive. The incentive. Kid Cochise. Oh, don't you forget.
forget to subscribe. I want to do you like this shabby shabby. Sigury Smash. Cheese does it again. I like to dedicate that fish to my boy Benny Vecchiano. How you go, Jen? Here we go, boys. Oh, there you go. TJ Hooker cleaning up the deck for the fishes. <laughs> oh my goodness, I think you went too far on this one. This is completely out of control. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the content in this video is therefore that there of said, who said, we say, she said, he called cheese outdoors and not any sponsor. A water doodle, a bone dry, bone dry. I apologize, people. That video is getting a little crazy, but again, that's the emails I'm getting from the viewers. They like the crazy in Kiko Cheese, all right? Obviously, they like the fishing, but they like the crazy in the fishing. All right, Q Max, Q Max moment, all right? Bingo. We got an offer here. Got a phone call from our friends over in Q Max, and they're going to be giving the Kiko Cheese crew out there double free offers. I love it. Double free offer, okay? You need to go to this website right here, just put it in your uh, computer. It's going to put up a form, and it's going to give you uh, the opportunity to get free wipes from uh, Qmax Salt Wipes, all right? And that's the stuff that you see on my boat that I take care of. I use salt everywhere. Good thing about this salt, it doesn't give you high blood pressure. Adaptation. <laughs> right? Qmax Salt. Little envelopes, like a little trial thing to see if you like it or love it like I do. Uh, just write Kid Coach Cheese, you have to name like this, and you will get double the offer, okay? That's a Kid Coach Cheese Nation out there, getting a double from Qmax, all right? Qmax Salt. Again, remember you saw the other videos, it's very high-tech stuff. Why is it high-tech? Because look at the leadership team on the, on, the, on the website, all right? These guys are trained in thermodynamics, kinetics, quantum mechanics, all right? Degrees from Northwestern for molecular biology, all right? It's very quite possible that these guys split the first atom. What? So Qmax Salt, get that stuff. It's got a lot of good stuff in it, all right? We're going to be doing some scientific experiments on these uh, upcoming videos. But right now, we're going to take this Qmax moment just to plug the free giveaway for all the people out in Kiko Cheese land, all right? So again, go to the website, uh, fill the quick form. They keep your uh, identity uh, private, and they will ship you out. I mean, they're going to ship you guys out because you're watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors twice the amount, all right? So thanks again for watching. Q-Max here, Q-Max moment. Always got a Q-Max moment, Kid Coach East Outdoors. And now let's take Thomas, is gonna take a quick uh, fish on the way out, all right? We'll put it to some music, and it's pretty funny, all right? I'm not even gonna edit this because this is the way we fish, so why hide it? All right, shake these. thanks again for watching Kid Coach East Outdoors. And don't forget, go to qmaxproducts.com to check out Q-Max products and their leadership team. Again, these guys are in lab coat, probably as I speak. And then go uh, go to the website right here and get this uh, free offer that Qmax is giving the viewers of Kiko Cheese Outdoors. Twice the amount. Regular viewers, whoever doesn't know Kiko Cheese, they only one. You guys get two, all right? That's because we're with you. Yeah. Qmax and Kiko Cheese are with you. All right. Shake it easy. Thanks again for watching. Can you uh, explain what's going on here? I don't know. Something well, seems back to, to the be tugging. Pulling. And the pulling. Is and pulling the tugging. and tugging. That's this. Oh, that's a nice bit. <laughs> Let the drag, take the drag go. off a little bit. He's going. It's pulling and he's going. Look at him working. He's nice. going. Yes, he's and around he's the going. engine. It's he's going. around the engine. <laughs> he's around the engine. <laughs> Thomas, just don't lose this. Yeah, Thomas, go up there. Don't lose. I got color here. I got color, he said. Now let's see how Michael has got the he's got the gear pumps. There it goes. He's back. Don't you worry. What are you doing, Tom? Too nervous? I'm not even out of the wall. Wow, look at this thing. No, you just did that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>
Oh Oops. no. Curse. <laughs> oh, boogie snot. <laughs> oh, oh, boy, you're about breaking time. That's a nice, nice one, one boy. Worm boy. Here you go. Here you go, cheese. First one. Oh, that slope of town, you've yeah, TJ Tommy boy was about to. TJ, hook his back. Shake it. It's been a rough couple of days, kids. I'm not going to lie to you. The kid coach, he's got me on him again. One more time. Shake it up. Come on. <laughs> Let's get a glamour shot with that, Michael, for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One more time, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, boy. How do you yes. like Minaj? Nicki Minaj. You want? No. <laughs> yeah. That's that one to my boy. Make sure you bleed, that's a good eater. Yeah.